Uh, hello, and welcome to the uh, Marco Polo Uno Mucho show. Uh, we're back on the air, and I've been getting a lot of inquiries in my mailbox about mushrooms. How do you select them? Where do you find them? How do you pick them? Uh, you know, how do you prepare them? And how do you eat them? And along in my mailbox, of course, I'm getting a lot of $50 bills and $100 bills of people that are very interested in our show and are contributing to keeping us on the air. So here's a mushroom uh, I picked a couple hours ago, very similar to the last one uh, that I showed you. And this one's a bit smaller. There it is. It's about three inches in diameter. And uh, there it is. If you see underneath there, it's got the little pink gills, you know. All the color isn't pretty good. And uh, it turns out that the brown spot on, on the top there wasn't just dirt. It really was kind of part of the mushroom. And I found this one about three, four feet away from the other one. And... Uh, I'll tell you my experience with mushrooms. Um, when I was a child, I used to pick them in the back field. My mother was into it, being a farm gal, and she called them horse mushrooms. Um, and we'd collect them every year and bring them in and fry them up, and I wasn't really too keen on them, to be honest, but they were kind of interesting. And... Uh, so then I kind of started studying mushrooms, and there's poisonous ones and toadstools and all this stuff. Well, let me tell you, it's a bit of a conspiracy, I found out, because I would go out mushroom picking, bring them back, try to positively identify them in the mushroom books, and really end up not knowing what they were. So, you know, if you're not sure, don't eat them. But on the other hand... <clears throat> Most mushrooms are not poisonous, okay? And if they look poisonous, don't eat them. And if, you know, so it takes a little while. And what I do is I look for the common mushroom or the field mushroom and the horse mushroom and uh, the varieties of that. And this is sort of what one might look like nice and pinky underneath, a little bit of a veil, right? And when I pick the mushroom, I tap it in the hopes of getting the spores to fall out in location before I pick it or over the ground and produce more mushrooms because you don't want to overpick your mushrooms. Uh, pine mushrooms, which are symbiotic with the pine roots, the pine tree, they're a different story because once you pick them, they're gone. Well, I understand and they're very valuable as well anyway that's what it looks like now you get your mushroom home and uh, the other trick about mushrooms is when you pick them they have a cycle and if you pick them too late um, they get kind of dark brown and, and, and not so nice and they'll also the worms will go up the stem and right into the cap and, and they're not really edible then <clears throat> so you gotta you know check them out because they grow very fast you know a little bit of rain a little bit of sun and spring you got a mushroom so you get them home and you can wipe them off and sometimes I wash them off and dry them off and it doesn't much matter now I've found that um, they're very good raw with a dip or with some creamy salad dressing or in a salad and if you want to fry them, you want to fast fry them, maybe butter, olive oil, a little garlic, and just ching ching and, and eat them while they're hot. Because once they cool down, they kind of shrink. Um, puff balls in particular, I just had a puff ball, and I discovered I was get picking them too late. Once they're yellow inside or dark brown, they're not so good. you got to get them when they're all white right through. And uh, I had a lovely puff ball, which I sliced up and I had on, on a salad, and it tasted a little bit like feta cheese or something. So that's the point I'm trying to make. And, uh, and uh, poisons that are in poisonous mushrooms, are the main poison is psilocybin, which gets you high. 
time. Also, can give you a gut ache and cramps that make you throw up. And strychnine, uh, Anamita muscaria is very highly poisonous. The white dots are, are strychnine. And uh, I think it's Anamita panthera. It's good to know the highly poisonous ones so you can avoid those, of course. And like I say, you got to get out some books and do a little study. And there you go. So I'll be having that for breakfast. Well, this is uh, mushroom picking season. And... Uh, Good luck to you.